I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the remainder of the disassembly of this of this top cylinder. So I've taken off the uh, this is the shift shaft assembly. I've already removed the the cover plate um, and the little dowel pin. And now the next out is the next piece out. Let me get down here is the shift shaft itself, which you can kind of pull directly on and it'll it'll come out like so along with the uh, along with the spring here all right and then I just continue with the removal of these components and then assembly is just the reverse later on to get this spring back in so nothing much to this all right with the main shift shaft pulled out I can now pull out this lower pin looks like there's an upper piece as well that should be able to be pulled out that holds the shift dogs in right here might take a little more coaxing to get that out the spring piece looks like it easily pops out so I'm gonna remember to put that one back and then the shift drum is behind this bearing here I think what you do is you pull this this completely out um, from from this side but the manual is not very clear about this at all okay it took a little bit of jiggling but this axle that holds these shift levers on up here and there's a little spring on the end if you jiggle it around it looks like it kind of breaks itself loose and then I can pull this piece right out with the spring on the end then from here you can just lift the shift forks right out and there's the drum that sits underneath right there. I assume this will just pull out. Again, it might require a little coaxing. And it looks like it's actually attached to the gears down there. There we go. Just spin it around until the shift drum comes loose like that. And then we can go ahead and pull out these gears right out the other side. Remove the Torx bolts. It looks like the factory manual says that you need to install a couple of bolts to push the unit out. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, right here in this diagram here. So you install a bolt here and a bolt here and then tighten them down which has the effect of pulling the drive gears out. Okay, so to pull out this lower transmission here, I've already removed the Torx bolts that hold these in. Then you take two of those Torx bolts, thread them in to these two lower holes, which it's wrong Torx, there's the right one. Which when you turn these Torx in will push this transmission right out of the crankcase. kind of put a few turns on one side, put a few turns on the other side, you can see that what happens is it pushes this right out, which is a pretty slick way to go here. All right, now these are torqued all the way down. I can't turn it anymore. I should be able to jostle this thing loose now. Right I just finished torquing those bolts down a little bit, pushed this transmission out. So now you can see it's free. I've got one shift dog down here, which it looks like you need to extract and pull out. That's the lower one. And then you can pull this out. Be careful, I think these gears will slide right off the end. So you want to hold it upright like that. All right, about the last piece I have to remove on this assembly here is this little gear and there's a bolt that's on the outside of the crankcase you remove and then there's just this little circlip right in here. 
that you got to remove to be able to pull this thing out. Let me see if I can get that sucker out with one hand. Yep, there we go. So circ clip removed, flew somewhere, and then this pops right off. And that's it.